My name is Paul Grossclose, and on February 23rd, 2016, I suffered a stroke at the age of 13. Now, how did this all happen? So I was going to the YMCA to train for the Pittsburgh 5K run. As I was running around the YMCA track, I was noticing that the left side of my body was in a constant pace. Since I had no clue what was happening to me, I went down the stairwell. And then I fell. Long story short, an ambulance was called and I was rushed to Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. My entire left body was completely numb. I could not move my left leg, my left arm, or anything on my left side. I could still talk well, but it was really hard to eat. One of the hardest things about the stroke was being a 13 year old, just finally getting really more independent, having to feel and treated more like a baby. I really couldn't go to the bathroom, take a shower, eat food, or really do anything on my own anymore. So I was treated at a hospital for just about a week, then I was transferred to a rehab unit for around a month. Now you may be wondering right now, after listening to my story, what is a stroke? Basically, a stroke occurs either when a blood clot blocks the blood supply to the brain or when a blood vessel in the brain bursts. Looking back on the recovery I've made and the recovery that I am still making, STEM has definitely had a major role in my recovery. With all the different technology and machines and different things that they've had me hooked up to, they were able to figure out what I had, that I actually had a stroke with MRIs, like all these different things go back to STEM. One of the really cool pieces of technology that they were using on me was called called E-STEM. E-STEM is electrical stimulation that goes through your arm to basically make it move without the help of the patient. During the time I spent in the rehab unit and the different therapy sessions that I've had since, the different therapists have put the E-STEM on my left leg, my left arm and wrist, and the left side of my face. Basically how E-STEM works is that there are little adhesive patches that are put on the affected part of your body, and the adhesive patches transmit electrical pulses to make your arm or leg or wherever they put it do different things. The whole goal of E-STEM therapy is basically to help your brain relearn how to use the affected part of your body. During the time in the rehab unit, the therapist there casted my leg and basically made me an AFO. Basically what an AFO is, is this plastic contraption that goes in your leg and foot to basically stabilize your leg and your ankle to move properly. When I was having my stroke, nobody really thought I was having one. The ambulance crew kept saying, no, you're not, you're not, you're not having a stroke. But in the back of my head, I kind of thought I was. The reason I was thinking that was because six weeks prior to this experience, my dad had had a stroke himself. When you think of someone having a stroke, you think of an elderly person. But according to statistics, that's not anywhere near true. The most focused period of risk of having a stroke is the first week you are born. What person is thinking a baby's going to have a stroke? Now don't get me wrong, a lot of older people and younger people have strokes. We just need to recognize that younger people do too. With around 795,000 people in America alone having a stroke each year, I'm surprised we haven't found a cure yet. This statistic needs to change. 